Oh, wrong song. Hello, fellow Flamigos, it's me, Polly Popcorn. This is Carmela de Corno, and we're going to review for you Ant Man. So let's kick it off and let the idiot, David the movie blogger, give us uh, his review of the movie. David, go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. Marvel has released its newest comic book movie, Ant Man. And I got a chance to go see it the other day, and here's my super dope review. All right, Filmigos, the story in this movie, really simple. Hank Pym, played by the superior Michael Douglas, is the original Ant-Man. And he finds out his protege, Darren Cross, played by Corey Stoll, has learned how to shrink people down to insect size. And of course, that's a problem because Darren Cross wants to sell this technology and make a bajillion dollars. So cue Scott Lang, who is played by the absolutely hysterical Paul Rudd, and Hank Pym secretly recruits him to become the new Ant-Man. Before he can become Ant-Man, he's got to get trained by Hank Pym's daughter, Hope, who is played by the absolutely beautiful Evangeline Lilly. Hubba, hubba. So once he learns how to become Ant-Man, Hank Pym wants to go to Darren Cross's place and uh, destroy the whole Yellow Jacket technology before the whole world blows up. Paul Rudd's acting as Scott Lang as Ant-Man is absolutely perfect. His comedic timing, spot on, all the way through. He's gonna make you laugh the entire time, start to finish. Michael Douglas, I mean, come on, he's amazing. And in some instances, he's actually better than Paul Rudd in this movie. Like, I kinda wish they made uh, the original Ant-Man movie instead of this Ant-Man movie. Then you have the shrinking sequences, and that's when Scott Lang like, presses that little red button and shrinks down to his little Ant-Man size. Oh my god, that's absolutely a blast. Like, I wish I could shrink down to Ant-Man size and then fly around on my own little flying ant. That would be so much fun. Who wouldn't love doing that? And then, of course, they got all the fighting sequences between Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket. You know, you just see, like, these little things right in front of you go... And I guess my only issue with the movie was the villain, Darren Cross. He was pretty one-dimensional, not that menacing. Basically, his whole objective was to take the technology and sell it. So all in all, I give this movie probably like a 7, 8 out of 10. Uh, is it my favorite Marvel movie? No. Is it the funniest? Definitely. But uh, yeah, I'd go ahead and say it's probably in my top 10 Marvel movies. And uh, is it worth going to see in the movie? Yeah, probably not. You can probably rent it on Netflix later on and get the same effect. So uh, there you have it. That's my super dope review. And uh, I'll throw it over to uh, Polly Popcorn. You don't think the movie is worth it just because it's got a boring villain? Yes, every great story has a really cool villain. What? You're telling me it has a freaking simple storyline and that's why you're not a huge fan of it? You want a story that creates drama? Ah, I don't know. Carmella, you know what to do. Matter of fact, press this and see what happens. Now is my chance for revenge! Gotcha! Oh no, I missed. Wait, what? <laughs> Ow! Oh, that tickles! That tickles! Ah! Oh! Ooh! Oh, I'll get you for this! Who? Wedgie! I didn't see that one coming. Ah, forget what he has to say. Don't worry about it. We give it a theater. Yeah, it's not the best Marvel movie out there, but still very entertaining. And Paul Rudd really delivers a laugh. So there you have it, my fellow Flamigos. Ant-Man, a theater. So go ahead, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just press on the uh, Polly Popcorn bucket in the uh, lower corner. And follow us on Twitter and follow us on Facebook. As always, leave comments, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. See you later, my fellow Flamigos.